Ukraine may exchange captured areas of the Kursk region for territory of the Kharkiv region, writes BUILD expert on open data analysis, Julian Robka. According to him, over the past 24 hours, the Ukrainian armed forces have captured eight more villages in the Kursk region. Among them is Goncharovka to the west of Sudza, as well as territories in the north of the city. At the same time, Robka does not confirm the complete capture of Sudza, noting that Ukrainian forces are only bypassing the city from the north. From what we see today, it seems possible that the Ukrainian army will capture Sudza in the coming days and may even hold it for an unpredictable period of time. If this happens, it may be able to exchange it for the Russian-held areas of the Kharkiv region or even hold it as a bargaining chip in future negotiations. Robka writes, he estimates the number of the Ukrainian armed forces group at just 2,000 soldiers and 100 armored vehicles while Russia has no ground reserves to stop them. At the same time, Rubka notes the Ukrainians are extremely vulnerable to drone attacks from the air. Every day, the Ukrainian armed forces lose 5 to 10 armored vehicles. For example, on Thursday, small groups of Ukrainian infantry fighting vehicles broke through up to 30 kilometers deep into Russian territory. But since these vanguards were not covered from the air, they were destroyed by drones and missiles, the analyst notes. However, as Rubka writes, it is still too early to draw conclusions about the effectiveness of the operation. It looks like total chaos in places on both sides. Overall, 48 hours after the start of the Ukrainian offensive across the border, it is still too early to call it brilliant or suicidal. He sums up. At the Russian airfield Lipetsk, too, hit by Ukrainian drones, warehouses containing more than 700 guided aerial bombs are detonated. Informed sources told Union correspondent about this. In particular, last night the Security Service of Ukraine in cooperation with the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the Special Operations Forces carried out an explosive strike on the Russian military airfield Lipetsk, too. According to sources, the airfield housed several dozen fighter jets, helicopters, and warehouses where more than 700 guided bombs were stored. At the same time, after the Ukrainian drone strike, a powerful explosion occurred, which caused a chain detonation and a large-scale fire on a significant part of the airfield. Local authorities confirmed the fact of the detonation and announced the evacuation of residents of nearby settlements. As sources note, most of the aircraft stationed at the Lipetsk, two military airfield did not manage to take off. The Security Service of Ukraine, in cooperation with the Defense Forces, continues methodical work to destroy Russian aviation logistics so that the enemy does not have the opportunity to bomb Ukrainian cities with KABs. In early August, we cleared the Morozovsk airfield of KABs and fighters, and today it is Lipetsk 2's turn. We continue working, said an informed source in the security service of Ukraine. Airport. 